Hi guys, in this video we're going to have a look at uh, distance, speed, time and how we calculate each of those when given the other two. Uh, as you can see here we have uh, the triangle, I believe science also use this and that's to help us uh, figure out the calculation needed to work out whichever one we're trying to work out. So how does it work? Well let's have a look at some examples and go from there. So these ones on this page are all non-calculator and then I just have some calculator ones to have a look at later uh, and a few of these I'm going to highlight some of the issues that crop up when uh, students have tried to work these out in the past. Okay so first one a car travels 150 miles so that's the distance in three hours that's the time how fast is it going so if it's after how fast it was going that's the speed so we come to our triangle here and you cover up what you want so if i want the speed i cover up the s for speed and i then therefore need to do the distance divided by the time so the distance was 150 divided by the time which is 3 and 150 divided by 3 is 50 okay and then don't forget your units well the distance was in miles and the time was in uh, hours so it's miles per hour simple as that the next one a lorry is traveling at 30 kilometers per hour so we have the speed how far has it gone, so I want the distance, after seven hours? So how far has it gone as a distance? So I go to my triangle and I cover up the distance because that's what I'm after. And it tells me I need to do speed times the time. So the speed was 30 kilometers per hour. The time was seven, so 30 times seven is 210. That's the distance. I go to the speed to find out what the units are for the distance. It was kilometers per hour, so the distance is in kilometers. Okay. Next one. Joe travels 60 miles in one hour and a half. Sorry, in one hour and 30 minutes. Work out the average speed. Okay. Now this is the first point I want to make. When people see one hour and 30 minutes, they sometimes think, oh, that's 1.3 hours no okay one hour and 30 minutes well it's 60 minutes in um, an hour so 30 minutes would be a half so it's actually not 1.3 it's one and a half which of course as a decimal is 1.5 so be very careful when they start doing minutes that you remember it's out of 60 minutes within an hour not out of 100 that's the first mistake Okay, and we want to work out the speed, so I cover up S, and I need to do the distance, which is 60, I need to divide that by the time, which we just said was 1.5, and, and as a decimal is 1.5. Okay, so how do I do that without using the bus stop, because I don't really want to do that, if I can help it, so I times both for the top and the bottom by 10, so I'm not changing my answer, and I'm going to get 600 divided by 15. Now, if I do 60 divided by 15, that's 4. So 600 divided by 15 must be 40. And it says work out the average speed. Well, it's miles. And again, we're talking hours, so per hour. Okay, so just be careful. It's not 1.3 for an hour and 30 minutes. It's actually an hour and a half. And then the little dividing decimals trick there. Turn them into whole numbers, and then you should be able to do the calculation quite nicely. Okay, let's look at the next one. Sue walks to the shop at a speed of 1.5 meters per second. It takes her 30 minutes. How far away is the shop? So again, you need to be careful here. The speed is in seconds, or meters per second, but the time is in minutes. So I'm going to convert the minutes into seconds, so the units are the same. Okay. Now there are 60 seconds in one minute, so to work out the total amount of seconds, I'm going to do 30 times by 60, so 3 times 6 is 18, I'm going to add my two zeros there, so that's uh, 1,800 seconds, which is good. Okay, so the units now match, and it says how far away is the shop, so that's the distance, so I cover up the distance, and I'm doing the speed, which is 1.5, 
meters per second. And then he times it by the time, which is 1,800. Okay, so if I do 1.5 times 18, that's going to give me 27. And I can add my two zeros, so that's uh, 2,700. And again, if you want the distance, it was meters per second, so that's going to uh, be meters. Okay, and the final non-calculator one, a ferry travels from two ports that are 40 miles apart. If it has an average speed of 60 miles per hour, how long does it take in minutes? Okay, so this one here, I'm going to work it out in hours first and then convert it into minutes. So it says how long does it take, so I'm after the time, so I cover up T, distance divided by the speed, so the distance is 40 divided by the speed, and the speed was 60, okay? And if you simplify that, well, divide it by 10, you're gonna have four, six, halve them, you're gonna have, uh, um, so you're gonna have two thirds of an hour, okay? And again, this is where people will go wrong. They'll go, ah, two thirds, that's 0 0.6 recurring. That's how many minutes it is. No, again, be careful. Two thirds of an hour. Well, there's 60 minutes, as I said before, so that's two thirds of 60. Okay, that's what you need to work out. So remember, this is uh, finding fractions of amounts. Check out that video if you're unsure or can't remember, but I'll quickly do it now. We do 60 divided by 3, we divide by the bottom number, which is going to give me 20, and then we times by the top, so 20 times by 2 gives me 40. So I'm going to have 40 and then minutes. Okay, so it's absolutely fine to work it out in hours. But once in minutes, obviously convert it. But remember, it's out of 60. There's 60 minutes in an hour, not 100. That is a very, very common mistake. Okay, so there's some non-calculator questions. Let's have a look at some calculator ones. Here we go. Okay, so a cyclist has an average speed of 25 kilometers per hour. How far uh, will they go after three hours and 15 minutes? Before we go any further, just as you should do in the exam, if you don't have it, just recreate your triangle there. There we go. So let's just reread that. A cyclist has an average speed of 25 kilometers per hour. How far will they go? So I'm after the distance in three hours and 15 minutes. And again, common mistake here, three hours, 15 minutes. People will go, that's 3.15. No, 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 no. Okay, that's 15 minutes. That's 15 out of 60, which is how I recommend you do this using a calculator. So three hours and then 15 minutes out of 60. Just leave it as a fraction. If we've got a calculator, I'm going to show you how to do that. Now, of course, you can simplify that, or if you know 50 minutes is a quarter of an hour, you can simplify it to three uh, hours, uh, three and a quarter hours, or then 3.25. But again, you just add that extra step where you might make a mistake. So if you want my recommendation, just leave it like that and it avoids any mistakes. Likewise, if it isn't a nice number, let's say I'm making it up, let's just say that was 23 minutes, you could do 23 over 60, and this method works for anything. Okay, so that's the time. That's uh, the speed. We want the distance, so distance, cover it up. We need to times them. So I'm going to do 25, which is the speed, times by my fraction which is 3 and 15 over 60, or again, 3 and a quarter or 3.25, but definitely not 3.15. And this is how you do it in the calculator. 25, not a problem, times. Now, what if you do, do not do 3 and then press the fraction button. Uh, it will not work, okay? If you press Shift and the fraction button, you should hopefully see, I'll just bring it a little bit closer to the camera, you should see it gives you the option to put a mixed fraction in. So definitely press that, and then obviously fill it in. Oh, not 30, that's a bit keen. And then 15 over 60. Obviously it'll give it in some sort of fraction. Just press the SD, 81.25.
and uh, what was the distance in? That was in kilometres, so that would be kilometres. Okay, so hopefully that just addresses that misconception there and gives you an easy way out if you can't spot it. Next one, a 100 metre sprinter runs at an average speed of 10.5 metres per second. What was his time? Round it to two decimal places. So I'm after time, so I cover up T, which means I'm doing the distance, which was 100 metres. And I need to divide that by the speed, divide that by the speed, which is 10.5. Definitely calculate a job, this one. 100 divided by 10.5. Again, it gives it as a fraction and two decimal places. So we've got 9.523809, and that's recurring. So I would definitely write out the full amount, but definitely if it says obviously round it to two decimal places, round it. And two decimal places puts us there. The three tells us to round down. So that's 9.52, and it was time in seconds. So seconds, I always write the whole thing out because if you don't write that, although you should always show your work, and if you don't write that and you just make it and you make a mistake with the rounding, you could end up losing an extra mark. Whereas if you show everything and you make a mistake in the rounding, you'll just lose one mark. Okay, so show everything and then you shouldn't be um, losing any unnecessary marks for your hard work. And the last example in this video, a speedboat travels 350 miles and takes 200 minutes. What was the boat's average speed in miles per hour? So here we go, per hour. So this is what we need to do again with our time is convert the minutes into hours. Now, obviously, we've got 60 minutes in one hour, 120 in two hours, 180 in three. So I have three hours and then obviously three hours is 180 minutes. What's left? I have 20 minutes and again it's not 3.2 it's not going to be that I'm going to do exactly the same thing I did up here which is three hours and then 20 minutes out of 60 okay and again if you can spot it's three hours uh, and um, a third that's absolutely fine but I just think that with a calculator it's just so much easier to leave it like that but it's up to you we're after the speed, so I cover up S, so it's distance, 350 miles, divided by the time, well, we now have it in hours, which is good, so I now need to divide that by 3 and 20 over 60, and again, get the old calculator, 350 divided, don't forget shift and the fraction button to get that mixed fraction coming up there. 3 and then 20 over 60. There we go, look, bang on 105. And if it was speed, well, it tells us that the unit's there, it's miles per hour. Okay, so hopefully that uh, clears up some potential errors or misconceptions that you may have already had. Um, yeah, and hopefully that helps. Thanks for watching, guys. Cheers.